Welcome back, everyone. We're here just freaking flexing our fingers like we're some kind of forest fairy or something, staring into this bright light that's reminding me of a deer lost in the woods. Probably because it looks like headlights on this door. I, I don't even know why it's there, to be honest. I'm still not sure what I think of this game. It left a pretty solid first impression, but I want to find out more. So let's see what this thing has in store for us as we cross into the crippled Beric, whatever that freaking means, I don't know. But it looks like we're going into a nice place. That guy kind of looks like he's from The Last of Us, like coming to shop for some goodies and maybe some biscuits and honey. I hope we get biscuits and honey. Probably just going to get more dumb gold coins I can't even use yet. What gives? I would have went for the pickle jar, Basso, a lot more weight. Garrett. Shit. I see you still can't work a door. You don't come to see me, you don't write. <laughs> I thought both you and Aaron had been killed in the mansion attack. Where the hell have you been? I don't know. You don't know? Fine. Forget it. Far be it for me to pry about where you've been for the last fucking year. <coughs> I don't have time for this. <sighs> Especially with the Baron's new duty on opium, thanks to this gloom sickness. Not to mention the Thief Taker General's black tax squeezing us entrepreneurs. If you got a job for me, let's hear it. <laughs> Are you sure you're up to it? Okay. So, here's the gig. <laughs> I need you to obtain a ring for me. Getting married? <laughs> Never again. <coughs> ah, you mangy bird. I swear one day I'm gonna have you made into a hat. And lose the brains of the uh, outfit. <laughs> I'm running out of fingers. <laughs> Good job, Basil. Good yeah, job. Yeah, 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 right. Uh, belongs to a guy named uh, Cornelius Greaves, one of those hoity-toity types who doesn't have any shit on his boots. Ah. ah. Here you go. What's the catch? Eh, uh, he's dead. I'm a thief, Basil, not a grave robber. Only recently deceased. My sources say he never took the ring off. Doesn't seem much of a challenge. Ah, challenge. We'll be getting to him before the Carters pick him over. Rumor has it they've been taking bodies to that old uh, foundry near Cinderfall. Crawling with the Baron's guards for some reason. Now, the best way to that place is through the old chapel. <laughs> and uh, don't screw this up, Garrett. Some of us still need to pay our dues. You can't tax what you can't catch. Yeah, <laughs> get out of here. And you use the door, please. <sighs> Still, it's good to see you. Huh. Hmm. Basso jobs. Basso having a side job is complete. Check with him regularly to see what he has lined up. What I want to know though is what kind of moisturizer Garrett is freaking oh, using. His face looks more ghostly than the. Spirit character on my freaking channel banner. Do you see his face? Like Basso, he's got like, <laughs> he's got some dirt on his face. He looks a little bit like a normal person. Garrett, on the other hand, his face is like white as a f uh, what? What does he do? What does he rub in it? Anyways, if you like Garrett and Thief more than Basso likes us, hit that like button. Let me know uh, if you want to see more of it. Grabbing some papers. That one's on treason. We'll save that for college. Basso, don't use lights. Bad for your health. Excuse me, Basso. Stop using candles. You should be in the dark, you grungy man. Go to sleep. It's nighttime. All right, so we got to get to this, uh, this... Are there people around here? I don't even know. I heard voices. The voices are, like, really creepy because they, uh, they don't seem to be very, like, what's the word? Like, they're not, like, uh, I don't know. Like, they don't have the distance down very well. These are people. Are you, can I... Do you care about me? Are you gonna... What's up? 
What's up? I'm a thief. I'm a ghostly thief. They don't even react to me. I'm going to pickpocket your friggin' silver buttons. And your shawl. You got flies on you, woman. Not a good sign. Change that perfume. Okay. She doesn't want tips from a thief. I understand. Who's this? Well, better mud. What's up? I am something for all your nefarious needs. All right. Drew the detective is here for resource buy and sell resources. He can, I can buy tools from him. This guy, he's got quite the backpack. This guy, he's like one of those guys with the trench coat that just has like a million cell phones in it, trying to sell you one knockoff. From every company. Um, I don't have enough gold for the wrench. Okay, I can sell stuff. I need 17 gold for the wrench. So, you take um, one of my broadhead arrows. I own three three of them. Okay. <gasps> and then I'll sell one food for you. Have one food, you big dummy. Give me that wrench. Ugh. Upgrade unlocked. Finally, I was like, when are we getting this upgrade stuff? My money comes in handy. I can also buy trinkets. Maximum focus, reduced cost of resources, health benefits of food, grinning salt. Make swalt. Uh, make, make swalt. Swalt. Exactly. I don't even know. I'm always open. Are you? Where are you storing your things? Let me... Hang on. Hang on. Just give me one quick peek, please. Peek? Okay. Nobody is friendly in this town. To the stone market, all right. So we're going now somewhere new. That's like our little uh, safe haven, it seems like. So now we're venturing where I assume is a little more deadly. Don't let that fire die out. I'm guessing these people hate me. I don't know. I just have to assume hatred and be thankful for, for love. <gasps> that sounds like a really sad... Uh, a really sad person, what they would say. I just assume hatred and I'm grateful for any love. Garrett's kind of a... Are you a guard? Do you like me? Cool. We're friends. Here at Morningside. I wonder what this plague that's been uh, filling the streets is. Something all deadly and dark. What do they call it? Oh, I forget. They mentioned it a few times. What is it called? The mist? <laughs> Sounds so unintimidating. It can't be called the mist. Whoa! Guy just made fire out of nowhere. Freaking magic, man. I'm gonna get away from him before he lights me on fire. Alright, let's run. That's the last of them. There'll be more okay. tomorrow. I'm starting to think they're the lucky ones. Lucky, eh? Some of these gloomers bite off their tongues to make it stop. Some push in their eyes or their ears. Ew. Luck wants nothing to do with this city. Oh, it's called the gloom. Are you guys bad guys? They're speaking more like the guards, so I'm assuming they are bad people. I'm doing it for the city. Doing it for the city. Hey. Can we be friends or what? Smoking is bad for you, bro. You're not even holding anything. You're just making smoke come out of your f hands. Another mage! Oh my god, this city is full of mages. The gloom is turning everyone magic. The freaking heck. I don't like this world. The old chapel on Morningside. Ooh. The court of the Queen of Beggars. This is pretty. I mean, it's totally destroyed, but it's kind of pretty. Hello, thank you for the paper. You, pray harder, otherwise I'm going to shut off the lights and then you're going to freeze to death. Garrett's like, I don't even care. I'm just going to touch the candles because it gives me a rush. There's a lot of load points in this game. kind of surprised with uh, the next-gen power that they didn't decide to, decide to make this world um, more quick. You know, more like procedurally perfect. It's a lonely night. It's the best kind. Mm. Ah, uh, Garrett, you walk a path few would wish. That's the only one I know. Quite. You know what they say about me. 
that you know everything that happens in this city. Not everything. Just the important things. What brings you here? Seeking my counsel? A year ago, I was at the Northcrest Mansion. Something went wrong. What happened to me? What happened to Aaron? A year ago. Men who believed themselves to know best try to control something they didn't fully understand for their own ends. The balance has shifted. We can all feel it. That's your answer. When my beggars found you after the accident, they thought you were dead. But you were not dead. So we healed your broken body and brought you from the city to, to keep you safe while we waited. But then, just after the gloom started, something began to wake you. It was time for you to return home. This city grows sick. It will tell you all in time, if you choose to listen. Careful, Garrett. There are worse things in the shadows than you. Uh -huh. I have a new focus point. Ooh. She's one of those ladies that's like, I know all, but I'm not gonna tell you. Let you figure it out for yourself. It's better that way. So, we have upgrades. Intuition. Ability to know where unique loots and collection items are hidden. Dexterity, ability to quickly pickpocket multiple items from an unsuspecting person. Sense, ability to visually detect noises from threats within a short distance. That's interesting. Ability to stun an opponent, I don't like that. Speed, slightly increase the speed of your actions during marksman combat lockpicking by slowing the world around you. <laughs> it doesn't make Garrett faster, it makes the world slower. It's a pretty magic ability. Efficiency, slightly reduces the consumption rate of focus energy. Greatly amplifies your visual range when zoomed in. Ability to move more silently while using focus. Reduce the range of the sounds you generate. Um, I like speed and I like sense. What do you think? Mm. Mm. Can detect noises visually. Like, so I can see exactly where they're moving, like, through walls and whatnot? I guess that could be useful. Or should I just give myself speed? This is a hard choice. All these powers are so vastly different, and I really have no idea if any of them are even going to help me. <laughs> like, what? Um. Uh... Speed or sense? Oh, what the heck? I don't even know. Sure. Let's make puddles of people's feet. I just heard a dog bark. Was that in real life or is that here? That was so weird. I don't even know. Tools and upgrades. I have a wrench. You know I've got that wrench, baby, baby. All right. Whoa. Donate gold to the queen. She gives you points. I swear to God, everybody's a magic man in this game. All right. So now we can pull off these things. Give it to me. I'm taking it for my own self. Apparently, it's a collectible. And guess what, guys and gals? Load screen. We're entering chapter two. And we're going to continue on because that was a lot of cutscenes. Aha! This isn't the city I know. I remember the accident at Northcrest Manor like it was yesterday. The ritual. Taking the claw. Aaron falling. Dying. I'll never forget it. But now there's sickness in the air. Death on the streets. This place was no rose garden to begin with. But it was never this bad. Everything's changed and not for the better. So Garrett was apparently like out for a long time. And then he's just been milling about for like a year apparently. And now this gloom is just sucking up everyone's life force and making the city all stale and rotten. And Garrett doesn't remember any of it. 
strange. Sirs, we've been hauling corpses since dawn. We just want this day to be done. Did you hear this lazy gutter sight? Consider yourself lucky you're pulling that card and not in it. Now move! pretty rude. Don't think he has a mother. I've had my fill of cart rides. I'll Ooh. find my own way in. But I like carts. Mine carts like in Donkey Kong? Alright, I'm going up because they want me to go down. Who wants to follow rules? Can I knock this bucket off? I want to kick a bucket at that guy. <laughs> Have a bucket, you friggin' brigadier man. Ladder, 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 I made you out of clay. And when you're dry and ready, with you I shall play in the month of May. A poem by Reginald Bach. Rock's teeth. I don't know who he is. Okay, can we get off this? You wanna. Okay, probably should drop down. Oh, what's up? I've got a Charizard. Imagine if this game turned into a Pokemon Ten game. Years. I would be so hyped. We could like throw Pokeballs. Oh my gosh. Modern day steampunk Pokemon? Yes, please. Sign me up. Thank you. Um, I think we should probably go to this ladder here. I made a big noise. I don't even care. Don't even care. They can't see me. They can't hear me. See no evil. Hear no evil. Speak no evil. Evil is evil. Suppose the beggars smelled the same alive. They call that work? <laughs> Keep that friggin' dog quiet and wake me when shift's done, will you? How can you sleep in a place like this? And the general's here too. I gotta get that guy. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna wait for this guy to make a little walk. And then we're gonna take care of him. These people are cool. This damned city. Everyone's really grouchy in this game. Not sure if you've noticed or not. Oh, baby, baby. Thank God it's dark outside, or maybe he's blind, well, one or the other. Coffee. They did talk about people poking their own eyes out or whatever. <laughs> Hello, peekaboo. I'm coming for you, coming for you, coming for you, Carl. Coming for you, coming for you, coming for you, Carl. Carl, bad day, Carl. What's bad night, to Carl. Place? Bad boy, Carl. <laughs> Sit down, Carl. Have a nice night. You guys care about that? No, I didn't think so. Carl, come with me. I've got a plan for you, okay? Carl, I want you to go into that ditch. It's comfier down there, I promise. Excuse me, everyone. I'm bringing Carl through. He's not having a good day. All right, Carl. There's some money down there. Fetch it for me. I don't think you listened. Stupid. What good is Carl? Oh. Carl! He's still sleeping. What a chump. I'll never learn. All right. Let's make sure there's nothing money, 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 money wise over here. Aha. Ooh. I found a hidden path. <gasps> and now I can use my, my wrench to unscrew this bad boy. Ooh. Pull the grate off like I'm Batman. All right. I've got a flask because somebody what else was crawling. Who's up here? Can I only hear their footprints in focus? The all-seeing eye says, probably. There's another great a uh, who. I might be able to get through this entire area without even touching anybody. It's pretty sweet. All right. Creepy crawlies in the night. Don't you think there'd be like a lot of like centipedes down here and Gary'd be like, ugh, my feet. Is he wearing shoes? Yeah, he is. He's got like weird shoes on. Okay. Just making sure, Gary. Want to keep you safe. Ooh, my inventory's full, but there's a syringe. Six dollars. My God, we're rich. Take me to Toys R Us, buy out the aisle, call the cops, put me on trial. I've got things to buy and places to go. I'm a rich man now, with my syringe in tow. Hey, I don't need you stupid guards. 
Say your dumb dialogue that isn't even directed in my direction. Oh, I don't care. What you'd get for a coffee? You're so far away, I still hear you like you're right next to me. Either Garrett has, like, rabbit hearing, or they definitely screwed up the audio in this game. <laughs> I can't tell. I mean, Garrett's a weird guy. Something bad could have happened to him when he got hit by that crazy blue flame from the priest, you know. Maybe he's not normal anymore. Maybe he's a weirdo. Is there anything in here, you think? Barrel, barrel, barrel. Donkey Kong. Okay. Every time you see a barrel, you have to say Donkey Kong. Otherwise, you run the risk of Donkey Kong getting you. Have you ever seen Donkey Kong? He's not friendly. Only to Mario. Garrett. <gasps> what? Elizabeth. Aaron. No? Oh, Aaron. I thought this was Bioshock for a second. A poppy? To regain a portion of focus energy, touch the touchpad to highlight poppies in the inventory, then click the touchpad button to consume it. All this touching. Garrett's a real affectionate dude. Alright, I'm gonna climb up here. Walk this beam, jump onto this. I don't know if this is necessary at all, but I'm sure there's something cool up here. Or at least something spacey and weird. <sighs> Down into this creepy cellar. <gasps> a treasure box? What is it? Nothing. What's this? A note. Coal room stash note. This is our lucky night. Followed one of the bleachers upstairs and found a real nice piece he must have lifted. Put it in the chute in the coal room. Alright. Check the chute in the coal room, Garrett. I found you a prize. Charity's fine memory. Oh, fun piece. Is it worth anything? Is that it? Or is there something else in the chute here? A desk bell? <gasps> Hollywood Terror Hotel. It's a scary ride, by the way. I don't like that one. It's really dark in here. Where's the chute? Or was that the chute? I don't even know. Any more yummies around? This is like night vision before they had night vision. They didn't know what to call it back in these ancient times. They're like, focus mode? I don't know. We've got these goggles that make you see in the dark. I don't know. Looks like we gotta climb this pipe. So, if you think I should climb this pipe, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I still don't really know what I think of this game. I know that sounds weird, but it's one of those games that, like, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know what to expect. I don't really know if this is it, if there's more. I don't really know what is, what is up with it. But if you guys like it, don't be shy. Let me know. And I uh, will see what we're going to do with it. Whoa. Northcrest Manor. From this side of the river, it looks like a fine tombstone. Eh, it kind of looks like a lighthouse to me, Garrett. Anyways. What does it look like to you? Let me know in the comments below. Have a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate, guys and girls. Thanks again. Till next time, we'll see you all later.